Okay, so this is the high gain five, or high range five, I suppose, if we were to be totally accurate. And um, high range five by um, high gain, and the high range uh, six by high gain external VFO, all plugged in. So initially, we're just on 16 channel lower sideband, normal channels, not a lot happening. X as in nothing. <laughs> Very quiet on the band at the moment. Need to put a light in that one there. I don't know if they came with a light. I'm sure they did. I'll have a look. We'll um, replace that. Uh, just to um... anyway. So that's kind of nifty. Um, it's a really good example of the um, the high range five uh, model six seven four. I had to look at the book here, and yes, there's the original book, and. Um, Original um, high range microphone too. So um, kind of neat that they sort of all match so nicely. So what did the VFO do? Well, the VFO was kind of nifty because suddenly, oh, look at that. When you turn, sorry, there is a light. And when you turn the VFO on, the light comes on. There you go. Learn something new every day, getting old. And um, Right now, that puts us, um, believe it or not, um, I've just got it set up as a very quick demo. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. And um, that gets us uh, onto channel 35. So we can pretty much, like a normal VFO of um, any radio, we can just sort of scoot around 27 megs from um, uh, about 27.44 uh, down to about 27, or oh, sorry, 26. Um, just just below uh, 26 megs, um, um, probably 935 or something like that. It'll it'll just sort of you know, get down to, but um, really nice um, <laughs> slippery VFO. Um, I need to um, put some rubber feet on that, I think. But as you can hear, as it approaches the band where it's tuned, it, it comes up in noise, which is pretty right. It's on uh, our eight element um, Yagi at the moment, and uh, 27 is very very quiet at the moment. Not much happening at all. But uh, once again, turn that off, bingo, and uh, you're back to the uh, VFO function not working and just a normal 23 channel radio. So it's a really good example of the era. Um, this, this was definitely you know, up there with um, the fact that the, these were not um, um, something that was uh, around, especially with the... Um, uh, I'd have to get the date, but with the 674, I would have thought the VFO was a bit groundbreaking, you know, prior to 40 channel radios, etc. So they've found this way to just come off the existing oscillator and and, and, uh, and talk to the radio. There'd be a couple of injection points to do that, I would have sort of thought. I don't think, I don't know if they had a circuit in here. Let's have a quick look at the book because books are always interesting. Room is even more interesting. So initially you've got the high range five uh, by high gain book, model 674. And we go to page one, which is just a bit of a look at the front and back and controls and etc. etc. Um, interesting, this is back in the days when they had um, um, a TBI filter. See, this light's terrible, sorry. Um, uh, like uh, tuning for um, antenna tuning and TBI trap tuning, uh, quite a few things that you could do with these. Um, you can see very uh, significantly on the right hand side there the uh, DIN uh, jack there for. Um, uh, the external VFO and that's how they you know obviously insert um, RF and take it back out again so then basically very typical manual um, geez, I need to get this over here I think because we're gonna get shadows everywhere now my microphone's shadowing it <laughs> can't win anyway it's a little bit better there but um, so this is just having a bit of a look at power connections usual sort of stuff here um, just where to uh, hook up etc then we go over to the front panel facility, so they're just talking about all the knobs, dials, and bits and pieces, and what all those rear jacks do, and um, you know, quite a good illustration of what happens there. A very standard book. Oh, there is a circuit. Okay, so that's good. That one page? Yeah, it's one page. Uh, normal specs that you would see on one of these radios, and a circuit, which um, saves me having to go to my Sam's book if I want to do something, and I do want to do something to this, so the audio on it's a little bit crass to be honest. I'd, probably want to have a look at the driver stage and see what's going on there but um oh one more page the warranty geez i wonder if i give them a call 
I might say, look guys, the audio is a little bit average on this. Um, I want to claim warranty. Yeah, <laughs> why not get a really good response? And of course, um, high gain in Nebraska. So, um, them's for the days. Okay, um, actually I could just go there because I'm just going to go over, back over here, I think. Um, right, we're battling for room a bit here. We're just about into the new room, so uh, carpet goes in next Friday, so thank goodness for that. We'll have a bit of room. So, yep, great radio, um, and um, I'm sure I'm nowhere, near the, I'm nowhere near where I was. Just having a look where the flip's coming up. Uh, let's have a look. One, two, one, two. Oh, yeah, I forgot I took, turned the VFO off, didn't I? I wonder if I'm anywhere close. One, two, one, two. Oh, I can hear myself splattering. <laughs> anyway, that's the um, High Range 5 by High Gain 23 channel model 674 with its um, High Range 6 uh, VFO connected up. And uh, first time I've had to, a chance to play one of these, so um, certainly a little bit of an eye opener for me. This is in really good nick. The, um, the photos actually were terrible. I, I thought the front on this was terrible, but when you have a real close look at it, no, it's fine. It's um, it's almost like his, his picture pixelated a bit or something. I don't know what happened there, but uh, really, really nice condition, and the VFO equally so. A couple of marks on the case, but, uh, you know, the rear cases, we're spraying cases all the time. We may decide just to give them a hit, but they're not that bad. We may keep them original too. All right, so that's the um, High Range 5. 73s, all the best, and uh, um, hopefully we can get it up and use it on channel 35 at some time soon and talk to one of you guys you never know 73s